In this video, we will cover raya or tassels. So in this particular weaving, I have two rows of tassels. It might be a little bit hard to see, but if you look closely, there's kind of a, a jumping pattern with the tassels. That's because this bottom row is the first row of tassels, and then I've added a second row of tassels. In this one, I've used the same color, but you might decide to add raya or tassels in different colors. So in this one, for example, again, I've used two rows of tassels. The first row was all blue, and then my second row was a pattern. So I used a few blue tassels, I switched to gray, and then I moved again onto blue. So you can decide what pattern, what length you wanna use, and if you wanna use the same colors or different colors. So let's get started. So we covered the basic stitch. Now if we want to add tassels, we want to make sure that there is a basic stitch under the tassels. And then for the tassel itself, we have to decide how many strings we want for each tassel. So for this tassel here, I have used, there's eight strings, but I've used four strings total. And when you fold it in half to create your tassel, you get eight. So this is where math comes in. You can decide how long you want to make your tassel. So if you wanted uh, a tassel that was maybe this long, you want to cut your string twice as long because it's going to be folded in half to create your tassel. So again, for my tassels, I want to use four. So I'm going to cut out four lengths or four double lengths of how long I want my tassel to be. And let's zoom in closer so you can see the detail. So for each tassel, you'll use two of your warp strings. So I've already put one down here. We're gonna start with your first pair, and then the second pair will get a tassel, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and so on. So let's put on your second tassel. So just line up all your string, find the midpoint. The midpoint will go over your pair of tassels or your pair of warp strings. Then all of the left strands will come up from behind the first cord and through the middle. Like that. And then the right strings will come up from behind the second cord in your pair through the middle, like that. So everything goes behind and then through the middle. And then just line it up a little bit and then start to pull your tassel downward. Don't pull it too tight because you don't want your warp strings to go inward like that. You still want to keep the lines fairly parallel to each other. Just drag it down a little, and then you can kind of pull slowly on each of the strings to tighten up your tassel. This is where you would also line up your, you can pull it here, you can line up the lines of your strings, and that's how you would put your tassel. So for your first row, say this is full now, you'll be able to see the initial weaving on the bottom. If that's a look you like, then you can stop with one row of tassels. But if you wanted to cover up the gaps, I would add a second row of tassels. And when you add a second row of tassels, you want to alternate. So you're going to skip the first chord and then work with pairs starting with the second chord. So the second and third the fourth and fifth, and so on. We'll get tassels, and then you'll skip the last one. So I'll demo again how to add a tassel. You have your lengths of string, place the midpoint over the pair of cords that you're working with. Again, I'm working on the second row now, so I'm working on strings two and three. Take your left strings behind the first cord and through the middle and your right behind the second cord and through the middle. I'm gonna 
just pull that down slowly. And then similarly, we'll kind of pull each string to make sure it gets nice and snug. But as you can see, you've covered up now that first basic stitch on the bottom. So you can fill up your whole row to get something like that. You can fill your whole weaving even with tassels if you really, really love them. And that's how you do tassels.